Oh, hey, you're back. You're just in time to take down Iceman with me, so let's say we push start and get this going. Woo! I'm Iceman! <laughs> if you've played Mega Man 8, you'll know that that game has some, like, absolutely horrendous voice acting. God, I don't remember who it was. But there was one character, I think it was Splash Man, I think? That can't be right, that doesn't sound right. But... Oh, it was so horrible. Ooh, free life, I'll take that. And every... Every enemy in that game had, uh, had a voice actor. And the voices were just god-awful. But there was just this one that was, like, super inflammatory. Not inflammatory, but yeah, he was inflammatory because he was flaming as all get out. And I think it was Splash Man. And when you fought him, he would say, I'm Splash Man, but you can call me Handsome Guy. And it was just like, wow. <laughs> it's bad. It is really bad. Even the cutscenes in that had really horrible acting. Famously, Dr. Dr. Light with his, uh, We must catch Dr. Wowie. <laughs> if you can find out the crystals, Mega Man, we can use them to catch Dr. Wowie. <laughs> it's just very bad. You know, to, to quote James Rolfe, it's like, what were they thinking? <sighs> oh, I timed that wrong. It's been a little bit since I've played this level. What I might do is I might just climb up a little bit and fudge it with the magnet beam. Like that. I always have used the magnet beam for this part. Because it is just very, uh... Ooh, 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 oh, oh. It is very difficult. Ta-da! see if I can get that free life. The only thing is that in this game, Mega Man has, like, severe weight to him. So making turns like that in a jump are hard. Huzzah! This time we're doing it. No, we're not. <laughs> I don't need that much health to take down Iceman. Because we're going to fudge him. Fudge, 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 fudge. I don't fudge too many of the bosses in this game. Iceman, Fireman... And the Yellow Devil, mainly, are the ones that get fudged. Oh. <laughs> I've had it bef happen before where I've beaten a boss and it's projectile still coming at me. And I die because of the projectile, even though I already killed the boss. And I think that's kind of why they did away with the dropping orb to get the enemy's power. Okay, from here we're doing Fireman. Oh, right before I got to it.
Oof. I always get hit by that. Always. Ooh, I thought I almost wouldn't make that jump. It's another area where the magnet beam is your friend. Because that part is just kind of crappy. That enemy will respawn right there. Knew it was coming. I was trying to get some more health, but I think I will be okay. Not the kind of power up I needed, but Okay, one robot master left, and it is Bomb Man. Not Bomber Man. Because that would be copyright infringement. This song right here, for whatever reason, has always reminded me of like a Double Mint Gum commercial. I don't know <laughs> why. Ugh. This part right here. <laughs> Remember when gum had TV commercials? <laughs> like jingles? I do. Sugar. I don't get hit. Although I could have just used the magnet beam to get to the <laughs> to the ladder. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh! If you hit the spikes, regardless if you have the invisibility from being hit, if you hit those spikes, you die. Doesn't matter.
Leap of faith. For whatever reason, you always change direction in Bomb Man's and Elect Man's stage. When you enter the stage, you always change directions. Okay, time for some fudge. I'm low on health. Don't hit me! Nothing says Christmas like some fudge. My aunt also used to always give us fudge, too. <laughs> so I always associate Mega Man and fudge. Alright, we are now about ready to take down Dr. Wiwi. So I will call this episode here, and we will come back, and we will take him down. Sound good? Sound good. Stay awesome, everyone.